Do -do 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 -do. It's my hand. Also, I'm watching this uh, channel, Clearview Tax. Video is second stimulus check update and stimulus package news, Saturday, August 8th. He's a very nice looking fellow, he is. Contrary to myself, I'm a fat chibi bastard. <laughs> oh, that's gonna piss some people off. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I don't take myself seriously. Not as a human. Not not as a, a living being. Not as a former dragon with wings, a tail, claws, breathing fire, whatnot. Not as the primal force that created all of existence by writing the source code and then setting it all into motion. I don't take myself seriously at any level. So, what I would like to ask for everyone going about being a bitch like Mayor Garcetti and the Senate and the House of Representatives, I would, I would like to propose a thought experiment for you. Why do you take yourselves too seriously? Why so serious? Because as you can clearly see, if you step outside of yourself for a moment and analyze your behavioral patterns and how similar they are to two great apes howling at each other until they piss and shit in front of each other, you'll see that similarity is there. The only literal difference between you, I see, is that the gorillas are literally pissing and shitting themselves and you senators and house of representatives bumble fucking morons are verbally and psychologically and emotionally pissing and shitting on each other you all take yourselves far too seriously you take your ideology, your thought process, far too seriously. You take your lives far too seriously. So, to remedy that, stop being so serious on the psychological, emotional, and mental level. Seriousness is for something else entirely which I set aside I set aside for when it's necessary like when I say you need to kill yourself for being a bitch which is what Vitable needs to do and his little fucking butt buddy agency on fucking Xbox Live they keep fucking spamming invites to a party and harassing me. Taking themselves and what they think about life far too seriously. Humanity, you take yourself far too seriously. Lighten the motherfuck up for fuck's sake. Okay? Why can't you just enjoy being alive for the fuck's sake of enjoying being alive? Yeah, so what? People fucking die every day. Your planet's overpopulated. That is a serious issue. Some of you legitimately need to kill yourselves. Because you're too stupid, ignorant, dumb, naive, too serious, too much of a bitch to be allowed to live. You're too corrupt. That's something serious. I'm not going to lighten up about that. But for the general consensus of just being alive, stop taking things so fucking seriously. 
Yeah, okay. You, you were in the middle of the fourth turning. Your currency, which is useless, is being revealed as useless. Okay, yeah. Well, well, that that's that's because of a number of other problems, including how greedy all of you are, and how addicted you are. Well, you're greedy. You're addicted to currency. You think it's necessary to exist when it's not. You're far too serious. You take everything way too seriously. You think that your opinion is truth when it's nothing. This is why I don't have an opinion. I don't deal in fact because in a court of law it's nothing but black and white ink on paper. That's all fact is. It's a legalese term. It's part of your bullshit confusopoly and enslavement process. Just like money. Currency. They're both a fallacy. Fallacy comes from, what is it, the Greek or the Roman? One of those two failed empires took themselves way too seriously. Same thing happened to them. Same thing's happening to America now. Because you, you didn't learn from history. You're repeating the same mistakes. Now, back to where I was about fallacy. Before that word meant, uh, basically in layman's terms, placebo effect. <clears throat> That's the, the very gross and crude oversimplification, but it fits, so it works. Before it meant that, the root word was phallus. And it literally, this is what it literally was. It was a small sculpture figurine type thing that was a literal dick with wings. Those ancient Greeks or Romans thought it protected them when it didn't. Hence the term fallacy. It's a joke. Or what all these children keep saying because they think they're cool when they're not. It's a meme. Yes, I'm cracking over the heads of everyone right now because you all take yourselves far too seriously. You, you've taken yourselves way too seriously for so long. You've indoctrinated and enslaved yourselves to this bullshit system of stupidity and ignorance. Money and currency, the very idea of it is a fallacy. It's because of your insecurity and your greed Thinking that your work is so important that it needs to be valued. Bitch, please. Not even my work in writing the source code for all of existence is that important. I shit you not. I don't take that seriously. What I do take seriously is my growth and development as a living being. That's, that's why every time I go into one of these jewels of existence, I do a complete reboot. I grow and experience life as the living beings within my personal property. Because living for the simple joy and pleasure of being alive. Why do you have to make it so difficult, everyone? Why? Every last level of my existence, the being you call God, the primal force that wrote the source code for all of existence, even me in this limited human form, every one of those levels of my existence is asking you right now, what the fuck is wrong with all of you? Why do you take yourselves far too seriously? You take everything so fucking personal, so serious, when it's not. Not even your lives are that serious or important. Yeah. 
here's another example. I've already named a successor in the event that I fail as a primal force of the creation, change, and destruction. I've already named a successor to take my place in the event that I fail. Because I don't take myself that seriously. Why the fuck do you humans? You're less than nothing in the grand scheme of things. Absolutely less than nothing. And you continue to think that you're the only species in all of existence. You continue to take yourselves far too seriously. I'm throwing out all of these examples that seem to branch off into different thought processes because they're parallel to my main point of how overwhelmingly and obnoxiously and corruptedly serious you take yourselves. It's disgusting and it makes me physically ill. That's what it does. At all levels of my existence. It does the same thing to Satan, too. There, that gets plugged in right there. So, humanity, please stop taking yourselves so damn serious. You're not important. You mean less than nothing in the grand scheme of things. Because you take yourselves so seriously. That's why. I have to answer that question. Because you all take yourselves so obnoxiously and self-righteously seriously that you won't stop to think for a fucking billionth of a second to ask yourselves the question, why is he saying that we mean less than nothing? It's because you take yourselves too fucking seriously. You think you're important, but you're not. Accept the truth that you mean nothing in the grand scheme of things. Because you are obnoxiously, corruptedly, so self-righteously serious. Have you ever heard that moderation, anything is good in moderation? Or, you know, um... Let's see. Let, let's use your religions against you. In the Quran, I read a passage that says, Seek a middle course. <clears throat> In your Bible, the words of me, myself, from my past lifetime, on your planet, as the being you call God, inhabiting the physical body of the man called Jesus. Actually, it was pronounced as Zushua. It was Arabic. You just Americanized it and became lazy. My words were if you're too hot, you get spat out. If you're too cold, you get spat out. Well, let's go with the Goldilocks and the Three Bears uh, Mother Goose Tales. This porridge is too hot. This porridge is too cold. This bed's too hard. This bed's too soft. Seek a middle course. You Americans are rampant extremists. Liberal, conservative, there's no middle ground. Criminals and cops, there's no middle ground. Terrorist freedom fighters, there's no middle ground. You see what I'm getting at here? I could go on and on. But I've gone on long enough. So that's the end of this video. The general point is stop being so serious. It's most unbecoming.